Смотри, вот, прямо прям над нашим домом, братан. Прямо над нашим домом. Прямо на меня летит, сука. Посмотри, блядь. Посмотри. Посмотри, брат. Ты видишь? Вот, Рома. Look, as you know, we saw the, we've seen the reportings, we've seen the news and are certainly gathering information about what happened to get a better perspective and some clarity about what happened. But I can speak to this more generally, as you know, and as a general matter, we have said this before, uh, we do not support attacks inside of Russia. We've been very clear about that. We have, uh, you know, we have been focused on providing Ukraine, as you've heard from the president, as you've heard from uh, uh, National Security Advisor and many uh, colleagues uh, from the NSC, my colleagues from the NSC, See, with the equipment and training, they need to retake their own sovereign territory. And that's exactly what we've done for this past more than a year now. Uh, and if you look at where we are today, today uh, was also Russia's 17th round of airstrikes on Kyiv, just this month alone, just this month alone, the month of May, which we're almost clearly done with, many of, of which have devastated uh, civilian areas as Russia continues its brutal attacks, its brutal attacks against the people of Ukraine. So Russia started this unprovoked aggression, uh, this unprovoked war uh, against Ukraine, Russia can end this at any time. You've heard us say this many times from this podium. They can withdraw their forces uh, from Ukraine, and in instead of launching these brutal airstrikes uh, against Ukraine uh, and in their cities and uh, on people every day. So we've been very clear about that. Does the president believe that Ukraine risks losing the moral high ground in this conflict if it strikes at especially civilian targets in Moscow? So look, I'm going to be very clear. We're gathering information. I'm not going to get into hypotheticals uh, from here. Uh, we do not support the use of uh, U.S.-made equipment being used. Uh, for attacks inside of Russia. We've been very clear about that, and uh, we'll continue to do that. And we have been clear, uh, not just publicly, but privately, clearly, with the Ukrainians, uh, but not going to get into hypotheticals. We're going to look into, uh, gather information to see exactly what happened so we can get some clarity. But as I said, we've been very clear. Go ahead. I would like to clarify. Do you, you don't support Ukraine, uh, Ukraine's attacks on Russian territory at all, or attacks with uh, U.S. equipment. So look, uh, I don't have anything to, to any changes in, to the policy to announce from here as it relates to uh, uh, act, uh, a long-range uh, information, long, I'm sorry, long-range missiles. Look, as it relates to uh, the drone attacks that we saw in Moscow, we've been very clear. We're going to see, uh, we're going to gather information uh, and uh, see exactly what happens. So just want to be very clear about that. Uh, but look, we do not support attacks inside of Russia. That's it. Period. I mean, that's, I cannot be any more clear than what I just stated. We do not support attacks inside of Russia. Period. We've been very clear about that. That's been a general matter that you have heard from us uh, over and over again this past several months. And I cannot be more clearer than that.